Closed captioning for Backwoods Life is brought to you by Luminoc. Always know where your arrow goes with the Luminoc. Gorgeous, look at those tines. Welcome to the backwoods. My playground is out in the woods. Back in the sticks, this is my hood. Waking up early with nature's hand in mind. Finger on the trigger just to seal the deal. Feel the chill, shoot to kill. It's the thrill, it's the skill, it's the rush, it's the dust and grind. Living the backwoods life. Our good friends Ryan and Kathy Whitaker have some great hunting land for whitetails in Kentucky. They've got one of the earliest deer seasons in the country and it's a great opportunity to shoot a velvet buck. Ryan Whitaker sitting comfy in a redneck blind on about a four acre antler king food plot ready to kick things off. 2020. Everything else in the world has been pretty crappy so far, but at least we've made it to deer season. And I don't have to wear a mask out here because I'm in a redneck pond, so. Ryan's made the tough choice to let this buck walk. He's got a bigger buck on spy point cameras that he's trying to get a shot at, so he's gonna bring his son Brady, hoping Brady can get a shot at this buck he let go. September the 13th, here in Kentucky. Youth can shoot a crossbow during adult bow season, so I got the KMX crossbow today with me at work. Over a four acre food plot, and it's got radishes, and different stuff in it. We got a pretty good nine pointer. It's about 150 inches coming in here mostly every night. Hoping he'll come in tonight and make the wrong decision.
Well, everything went according to plan, except for that buck not walking into bow range. Sometimes they just don't read the script. Backwoods Life is brought to you by these great companies. Hawk Optics. Lethal Products. Antler King. Elite Archery. Element Outdoors. And Quality Archery Designs. Ryan and Brady are in Kentucky. They've been hunting this big nine point buck. They're back in the redneck blind, hoping Brady can get a shot. We're back at it again in the same blind that we were in the other day that we had the encounter with the big nine. He come out, but he didn't give us a close enough shot. So we're back out here in the redneck, sitting waiting. We already got a couple deer out in the Antler King Radish plot. Let's see what happens. You sure? Hopefully we made a good shot. We'll get down here in a minute and see. I know it hit him, but it happened so fast I couldn't see it through the camera. But uh, the old redneck paid off again. We'll get down and check. It looked like a good shot, actually. It looked like it did. he was actually going to go down before he even left the field, but he got into the thicket on us and still walking. But I feel pretty good about the shot. What do you think? I think it's so good. You think it's good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right here. Well, he's already bleeding pretty good within a matter of four foot. There he is. See? Yeah, I do. Little white belly. Sure do. In the Woo! God, no! What a hoss. Need to make sure he's Need to make sure he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's good. He's done. I hope so. He's done. You gotta hurry up and get him. Look at all them dagging flies. Set that bow down. Man, Drag him out of that thicket. There you go. He's a toad of the body, dude. There you go. God no. Oh yeah, got some times there now. There you go, boy. Nice character. There he is. Heck 
Yeah. Pretty good match. He got a little Ooh. velvet. Yeah, he got velvet hanging down his ears. Yeah. That's what I thought. I kept telling you. You said, I think it's a weed. That's, that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Good deer. Look good mass, boy. Oh, good mass. Good times. He's Heck a freaking yeah. toad. <laughs> toad on the hoof. But buddy, he's a giant. Congrats, Brady, on a big old nine point. You made a great shot. Congrats. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Realtree, Ozonics, Scott Archery, Slick Trick Broadheads, CBE Custom Bow Equipment, Hunt Stand, and Tree Stand Buddy. The Kentucky deer season's off to a great start for the Whitakers, and Ryan's back in the stand. It's that magical time here in Kentucky. It's full swing rut. The bucks are on their feet nonstop. That's what we've been waiting for. My deer showed up on this food plot last night, two hours before dark. Of course, we weren't here, but, uh, we're here now. We don't have the perfect wind. The wind's kind of going out into the field. But this time of year, sometimes you can get away with a little bit more than normal. They're after one thing, and that's the next doe coming in. So we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. It's a perfect afternoon, just a little hot, but everything else is spot on. We'll see. Ryan has a lot more willpower than I do. He's holding out for one particular buck and is passing everything else. This giant nine point gave him every opportunity for a shot and he's still holding out. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Wind Scent, Hunter Safety System, Spy Point Trail Cameras, Redneck Blinds, Arctic Ice, Fourth Arrow Camera Arms, and Final Wrist. We're back in Kentucky and Ryan has let another giant nine point walk. Kathy saw the footage and decided she would like to hunt that buck. Now's her chance.
I'm not sure if you'd say Kathy didn't get a shot or Kathy just didn't take the shot. But regardless, it didn't happen. But she's not giving up. A couple of days later, got a little bit more food. Hopefully I can hold him in here if he shows up tonight. I'm gonna try to sling an arrow, see if I can't get him. Same setup tonight. With the nice temperature winds in my face, so it's very cold, but all I need him to do is walk in again tonight and I'll be ready. Well, Kathy's had more than bad luck on this buck. He finally shows up. She's been hunting there all afternoon, but it's too dark. It's after legal shooting light. You just can't make this stuff up. But I'm gonna tell you the good news. It's a few days later, it's Kentucky's gun season. Kathy's sitting in a redneck and has spotted that big nine point again. Surely it can't go bad three times. messed Ryan's hut up. I had to call him and told him that I filmed my tag and to come on over and let's get my deer while it's still daylight. Um, not sure I've done a daylight recovery in quite some time so let's head over and get my deer. He's just on the other end of the field. He's still laying right where I dropped him. Look at this gorgeous guy. Finally, laid my hands on him. <gasps> yes, there we go. He's bigger than I thought. Oh my goodness, he is gorgeous. Look at those tines. He's even already broke an eye guard, and one of his points. But man, the length and the mass he carries it all the way through. He's just gorgeous. It'd been nice if I could have just went ahead and sealed the deal, you know, a few weeks ago <clears throat> with my bow. But thank goodness. You know, lay the muzzle loader up there, and man, that hawk scope, I had no worries at all. Laid it on him, and that's what happens. Late muzzle loader, a little 30 degree weather, get him up on his feet. That's what I needed. I'm able to come back in here and seal the deal. Boy, he is gorgeous. Look at that. All that mass he's been rubbing. He still got stuff inside his horns. I think he was just down there working a tree, probably where I lost him in the swamp. But he's out here eating these <clears throat> out here on this food plot. Sealed the deal. I'm gonna tag him, load him up, and head back to the house. Well, it looked like a great year in Kentucky. They've been wrapped up with bucks all season. Congrats, Brady and Kathy, on a couple of great bucks. Even though some things went wrong, y'all stayed after them and got the job done. September, Kentucky heat. Sweat dripping off your nose and off your forehead. So, wasn't, wasn't expecting anything less. We're in a redneck blind. We got a big fat pile of corn out here.